Hey, this is Brian. Thanks for watching Keys Motorsports. If you like our videos, give us a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe and check us out at keysmotorsports.com. In today's video, brought to you by tirebuyer.com, we're going to tell you everything you need to know about TPMS. TPMS stands for Tire Pressure Monitoring Systems, and it consists of these little sensors that go in each of your wheels, and what they're going to do is they're going to tell your car what the current pressure of each tire is. Now, the reason why this is so important is having your tires properly inflated is going to give you the best performance, the best fuel economy, it's going to reduce blowouts, and it's going to extend your tire's life. Now, according to Schrader, a TPMS manufacturer, underinflated tires cause about 250,000 accidents per year, and they waste about 3.5 million gallons of gas per day. Now the way the TPMS work are typically once they see a 25% reduction in tire pressure, they're going to illuminate a light on your dash. Now the reason that you never want to solely rely on that is 25% is a lot. So you always want to make sure that you're periodically checking your pressure. Now, if you're not sure what pressure to set your tires at, all you need to do is look in the driver's door jam and there should be a sticker there. It's going to pay the exact PSI. As an example, here's a shot of one fully installed on a BMW M3 rim. Because of an act called the Transportation Recall Enhancement Accountability and Documentation Act, also known as TRED, all cars in the United States sold after September 2007 have TPMS mandatory from the factory. So, in other words, if your car is from 2008 or newer, there's a really good chance that your car already has them installed. Now the easiest way to check this is to simply turn on your car, and if you see an icon that looks like this, you have TPMS. If you've had your car for over five years, it may be time to replace your TPMS sensor as they typically last about five to 10 years. Now, as we can see from this example, it is a sealed unit. So unfortunately, you can't replace the battery and sometimes there's seals that go bad. So at that time, it's typically a good idea to replace the entire sensor. For more information on TPMS and for the best prices on tires, be sure to visit tirebuyer.com with code KEYS5. Once again, this is Brian. Thanks so much for watching Keys Motorsports. I hope you liked today's video. If you liked our video, give us a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe and check us out at keysmotorsports.com. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.